All right, YouTube, there we go. So we've got one flap done. Man, this thing, I just, I'm just amazed at how, how big this flap is. It's a flap, that's what it does. So we got the uh, rivets done, we got the Clicos, we got the, um, the uh, uh, flush rivet on both sides. The way that you do that, you guys have seen me. If you look there, you'll see that the rivet head unlike a normal rivet gosh this camera is flush whereas in if you did and this is not the same but it's kind of where you have this tail here coming through and the way that you do that or actually better yet you'll see the tail come through there the way that you do that the way it's the same rivet as here but the way that you do is you use this riveting tool here and you can get this from aircraft tool supply or you know make sure you get it for the rv10 they make different ones for different models and what that does is it squeezes i don't know if you guys can see that but it's actually at an angle so it basically squeezes both sides of the rivet and makes it flush and that that's how you get that really flush rivet on this side it's like an acorn shape and everything so um so yeah so i use that the other thing that i used all right so let's talk about a few things here so in the plans they tell you to use a uh, uh a blind rivet here because you won't be able to get that in there and bucked and then you use the rest of them i found that i still wasn't able to do it but i do have well i was able to do it but a standard way so you i have this yoke which will fit in there and basically um, fits in there just like that and that works really really well uh, for getting into these tight spaces and what it is is if you guys look at most of the sets you have a top and a bottom set so what they've done is they've taken this bar and actually made this the set so you only um, so you can get it narrowed in you don't need this set here at the top because you basically um, compress the rivet against the set here so um, recommend that another tool that you probably should have in your toolbox the other thing is is once again the alligator uh, came in real real handy um, the, the alligator squeezer um, and that was really great for getting into these rivets here. Let me show you. You probably see better on this side. Um, yeah, getting into these rivets here because you won't be able to get this up in there unless you're at an angle because of the, just the size of this. So the alligator squeezer allows you to come back and squeeze these really well. So once again, the alligator squeezer save the day and uh and everything so yeah so we got one flap done now i gotta figure out where i'm gonna hang it <laughs> until we uh get the uh we got another one to do that's the nice thing about uh rv10 wings that's the nice thing about any wing um you you get to do it twice <laughs> so so yeah so i'm gonna have to clear off some space and then get this hung, get it out of the way, and then obviously clean off my benches and uh, start over, you know, uh, start all over. Um, yeah, good times. So so we're gonna be doing some bench cleaning and everything, but so yeah, this flap, uh, she is officially done and we will be able to uh, put her up on the rack and get her up out of the way and, and everything. But first I gotta make some room for that uh, but like always you know if you have any questions comments concerns um leave them in the in the chat section i'll get back to you when i can and uh, of course may god bless you keep you guys safe